Okay, on that cryptic note, uh, this is Tsukihime. Welcome to my new Let's Play of the Grand String Saga. Um, this is a... I'm not even sure where to begin with this one. Uh, it debuted at number one in Japan. And it was one of the, I think it was the first PlayStation game to do that. But the remarkable thing, more, the more remarkable thing about this game is that not only did it debut at number one in Japan, the next week it didn't do anything. It just dropped off the charts. It can't be that bad, can it? I don't know. I've played the game before. Um, it's a funny story how I even... Oh, I don't want to see gameplay footage, thank you. I don't want to show anybody what, they, what they're up for. Um... It's a unique, a, a unique story. It's a short story for how I got this game. I didn't even know it existed. So I was in this little uh, n uh, shop that sold Nintendo games and other things too. Uh, I've got to push start button or I'm not going to get anywhere. But uh, what happened was is that I went to this uh, little store and they sold games and old new ones and whatnot. They're still around actually. It's been... Oh my god, I don't even remember how long ago it was. But anyway, I was buying PlayStation games because I had a new system. It's an old system back th even when I had it, but it's still, it was a new system for me. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, I went over, and the person who was selling it, uh, had he had a little, little shelf of PlayStation 1 games on it. And I saw all these beautiful games there. He had Chrono Cross, Legend of Dragoon, <clears throat> one of the Final Fantasies I, th I think was there. Then you had this one. He also had another game like Threads of Fate and stuff like that. Um, the, he had the Grand Stream Saga there for five dollars, like four ninety nine or something like that. I was willing to pay money to buy it, so I uh, picked it up and said, "Well, it's only worth five bucks." So I picked it up, and I went to the counter. The man didn't take my money. He basically gave the game to me for free, and he asked me not to return it. It's a unique situation when somebody wants to get rid of their game that badly that they don't want it, like they they won't they won't charge anything for it. Like businesses are out there to make money, last I checked. But uh, anyway, so that's the kind of game I'm going to be playing. Um, I haven't played this game in a while, so some of the controls are going to be a little bit wonky for me. So any of you uh, Grand Stream Saga veterans out there? Don't face palm too much, because I'm probably going to do a lot of that for you. Um, but for most of you, I'm going to assume that this is a game that you've never seen before. Oh, you're in for a treat. Let's begin. I'll be quiet for this part. Chicks are going to die! One hundred years ago, in the Gangstrom Nebula, a great war devastated the land. After years of skirmishes, two opposing forces clashed in a final confrontation. One faction was led by the Imperial Wizardry, the other by the Allied Spirit Army. As the battle raged on, the Imperial Wizardry activated a dangerous weapon both sides had agreed to ban. The weapon was fired into the core of the planet to destroy enemy territory. But a miscalculation disturbed the planet's axis, melting ice caps and triggering tidal waves that would eventually cause complete submersion beneath the sea. 
Foreseeing this tragedy, four wise men used a magical control tower called Airlim to keep four continents from sinking. Each wise man used a magic orb to power Airlim, but the orbs had to be re-energized at regular intervals. So the wise men left a magic orb on each continent with their descendants, the new wise men, to carry on their work. Now, the inhabitants of the floating continents are intent on building a new world. But suddenly, all of the new wise men are starting to disappear, and there have been rumors of Imperial Wizardry warship sightings. Without the new wise men, the lands of Shilf, Aquas, Volkos, and Zephyr are beginning to slowly sink into the sea. Once again, an entire civilization is threatened with extinction. Uh, yeah, so that, <clears throat> that pretty much explains what is going on. <laughs> uh, this was based af off of a uh, novel, I believe, in Japan. I don't, I don't remember offhand what the name of the, game, of the novel was. I think it was Kros or something like that, like K-R-O-S or something like that. I could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Anyway, several years have passed since the wise men who lifted the four, island, the four lands disappeared. Each land is now slowly running out of energy to float and drifting into the sea. <clears throat> Somewhere between the sky and the ocean lies the wind continent of Shilf. To slow down its descent, parts of the island are being sliced off, making it lighter. It kind of looks like a sailboat. The town of Verona is located on the island of Shilf. As the world approaches its certain doom, the inhabitants hope for salvation. <coughs> Excuse me. A huge mountain stands in the center of the, of the land. At its base stands a small shack. There, li there lives an archaeologist named Valos and his adopted son, Eon. The two are responsible for slicing off the land with the help of the magic stone. Of a magic stone, sorry. Today, after their work is completed, the two head back home. Okay, so this is the kind of graphics you're- Ah, oh, they don't have a face! Alright. Um, <clears throat> you're just gonna have to get used to the fact that the polygons don't have a face. This was, I think this was released after Final Fantasy VII and stuff, so I guess it was a common thing, but... The polygons I understand, the lack of the face I do not. Oh my. Eon, where have you been? I moved the bird's nest to a safe place. I see. That was a, val a valiant rescue, but very foolish. Should have slapped him. What's wrong, Valos? You look troubled. The truth is, Eon, the magic stone we used today to slice off land was, was the very last one. Oh no, what are we going to do? We won't be able to make the land any lighter. It'll probably sink. But... I think it was going to sink anyway, because we only have so much land to, sh to slice off, don't you? We need to have a long talk. Let's go inside. Yeah, I had a feeling it would be inside his house. <laughs> Isn't there anything we can do to stop, sh stop Shill from sinking? I'm afraid not. The magic has that the magic has steadily decreased over the last few years. Sadly, each continent is sinking towards the sea. And if we do not find answers soon, the lands will vanish. What about the magic stones? <clears throat> the one we used today was the last one. We can't slice off any more land. We can't depend on the other continents either. We can't even be sure of where they are. The other continents use the same floating power as ours. They are called uh, Volkos, Aquas, and Zephyr. I wonder how they are faring. I hope they're still there. It saddens me to think of our grim future. I'm afraid we are running out of time. Ian, why don't you make us some tea now? <laughs> this was the part my brother... That, that sentence, that was... Uh, the part my brother laughs at the hardest. It's 
like, oh, we're in dire straits, make me tea! <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I didn't even know I could do that. Okay, so that's getting into there. Actually, I gotta go into the options right quick. Change to message speed. Yes, that's much better. Alright. So this top-down perspective... Key set obtained from a chest? Um, this top-down perspective is what you should expect in this game. And you can use the L1 and R1 buttons to rotate the map around. Um, it's, it's useful. Not much water left, okay. Oh, time for my Let's Play allergy to act up. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze again. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. There's a stove. Um... What do you do? No, I don't want to use healing magic. This is gonna be a problem, I think. Item. Cup and sal saucer use. Yes. Oh yeah, I need to start a fire in the stove. Yeah, that works. Riveting. I'm sorry, Valos. I put out the fire before I went out. It'll take some time for the water to boil. Tell me some more. Alright, we can talk while we wait for the water to boil. Wow, this conversation. No, Eon. You're becoming quite proficient in the use of magic. You have a very quick mind. I discovered that there may be a way to save our continent. Really? How? The wise man Zora was the servant of the Wind Spirit. Since Zora's disappearance, the land's power to float was steadily decreased. <coughs> Excuse me, has steadily decreased. I've been thinking. If we solve the secret of the wise men's power, we may be able to save Shilf. Hmm. Now I'm going to ask the Elder for permission to enter the, ki the, the Kilia Shrine, I think is how it's pronounced. I have a feeling that is where the wise men's secrets are hidden. What isn't it? Yes, it's dangerous. Many have been lost there. I may never return, but I must at least try. If anything happens, don't come after me, Eon. There's no reason to, to endanger your life, too. But if you stay on this island, you're going to die anyway! I don't know. <coughs> I didn't mean to bring this up. Please don't worry about it. Well, I think it's time for some tea. Um, yeah. Oh, dear. Another faceless man! Help, something horrible has happened. What brings you into our home in such a hurry? I'm sorry, Valos, but it's very urgent. The tavern's owner's son, Roddy, has disappeared. All he found was a shoe by the cliff. Do you think he may have fallen? That would be a problem. By the cliff, do you think he was there when we sliced off the land? Don't jump to conclusions, Ray. Let's consider the situation. Yep, you're fucked. <laughs> Can I see the shoe? What good does that... Wow, this game. Okay. It's all coming back. Hmm, perhaps my magic can be of some help. I'll find him with the magic of locating. I will locate the child using some magic from the... <laughs> Well said all that with a straight face. <laughs> I forgot some quotes were like that. That sounds like so dangerous. I will locate the child using some magic from the basement. <laughs> what else do you have in your basement? <laughs> you should wait here. Yeah, I don't want to interrupt you. That's a cool entrance way to get to your basement. Why can't you just use the stairs like everybody else? Magic of locating, take me to the owner of this shoe. And this is the epic magic scene. You're supposed to use your imagination for this part. Lots of imagination. Lightning bolts everywhere. And then he disappears. Oh boy, what have I gotten myself into? It's been so long since I played this game that I actually didn't remember all this shit that happened. The effect of the magic seems stronger than usual. Where is Velos gone? Um, 
I'd be more worried about what he does when he finds him, but okay. Whatever you say. Hmm. The magic still seems active. Maybe it has something to do with Valos' magic being more powerful than usual. I feel an ominous presence. Is Valos alright? The magic portal is still open. Maybe I should go find Valos. And what do you do when you find a glowy portal thingy that's glowing and, po and portal-like? Walk on it. Um, more magic-y stuff? Oh my god, I'm getting dizzy. Okay, it stopped. Wise Men's Cemetery, Basement 1. Eon, are you disobeying my orders? I told you to wait. I'm sorry, I thought you could use some help. Take a look over there. Do you see those metal scraps lying around? I suspect that this is the Wise Men's Cemetery. I have never been here before. It is a sacred place. All the Wise Men who helped lift lands lie here. I guess when the slice of the land was cut off, the tremors tore a hole in the wall. Hmm. Eon, there may be danger. Please be on the lookout. Okay. Yes, I felt an ominous presence as soon as I got here. Your instincts have never ceased to amaze me. Listen, Eon, stay here while I look around. Hey, I'm the main protagonist. I'm not supposed to just stand around and wait. I don't want to use healing magic either. This is going to be an issue. Okay, status... Okay. What's the scepter? No. I have no equipment. I have a dried herb. A high potion. And a panther eye. Hmm. Okay. Wait here for me. Are you talking to this? I was looking for clues. Please don't disturb me. Okay. this? Huh? A bright glow emanates from your left arm. You feel a mysterious power fill the room. Suddenly a strong feeling overwhelms you, and an image appears. It is the image of a soldier you have never seen before. The soldier's weapon is imprinted in your mind. Eon, what have you done now? I don't know, I'm, I was glowing and... I don't know what's going on anymore. It wasn't me. When I touched the scraps, the scepter began to glow. So that's what it's called? Your scepter, what did it do? There seems to be some magic embedded in it. You were wearing it when you were found. I wonder what else it can do. I fear that there is danger ahead of us. I better go alone. Stay here and wait for me. Okay. No! Okay, so he has a scepter. That's why he calls that... I thought it was a gauntlet, but I guess that's what it is. I can't select anything. Okay. Get out of there. Here we go. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, <laughs> this is a, a weird series, I'm going to agree with you, and um, I quite understand if you're going to have a good laugh at this, because um, I'm not expecting some stuff, and it's been a while since I've played this game, so, you know, leave me alone. Cut me some slack, leave me alone. But um, anyway, I hope you're enjoying this um, game. I use that, that term loosely. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I'll see you for the next episode. This is Tsukihime signing off. Have a good day.